For violin arpeggios, it's important that you just realize that an arpeggio is a broken chord, or more simply put, it's the first, third, and fifth notes of the scale played in succession. So if we get to thinking about this concept of first finger on the root, uh, or the tonic of the scale, and we simply plan our arpeggios out with that in mind, they, they're really quite simple. We end up playing a first, third, first finger uh, over two strings and then shifting. Uh, it's, it's really quite simple if you always land your first finger on the tonic note. Let me demonstrate by playing an A major arpeggio, starting with first finger on the G string. I'll play one, three, one, and then shift up on the D string to the next A. Now that shift is a shift of a fourth, and that's a little bit of a longer shift than we often do, so that's where you really want to put your practice in, on the shift, the one-to-one -one shift. Here we go, this is an A major arpeggio, beginning with first finger on the G string. Now, the major arpeggio that begins on an open string is very similar, only the first three notes are open second finger and another open string, and then we get right on into the 1-3-1 one, one pattern. Let me demonstrate the G major arpeggio for you. Now, the minor arpeggios are the same, except the third note of the scale, or the, th or the second note of the arpeggio, whichever way you want to think of it, is a half step lower. So again, just the third is a half step lower, and we run those minor arpeggios in the exact same way. Let me do an A minor arpeggio for you. <laughs> 